We've seen what mid-journey stable AI or stable diffusion, I should say, and all these softwares can do to 2D images. But have you seen what's happening with the 3D image world, with the animations? That's where it really starts getting exciting, especially for somebody like me who's always been in love with video games, who's always been in love with animation, who would love to play around with a character I build or add myself into a game or add myself into a world that I built from scratch. How exciting would that be? So this software here, Blind AI that is, is basically just that. It's going to be give you the chance from a prompt to build a whole set of 3D objects, change all their aspects, give them specific physics, specific ways to act, including all sorts of animations that you can add. I love this. I cannot wait to try it. I cannot wait to try to build stuff with it. I cannot wait to be the hero of a video game of my own. I mean, I'm really going to have so much fun with this. I've already signed up. You guys can join the waitlist as well if you want to. But this has gotten me extremely excited, especially after seeing what Wonder Studio is doing. Now, this is even more mind-boggling. You'll be able to take a whole video, as it's, as it's shown here, film it, and completely replace the characters, not only with another actor, but you could literally copy-paste a skin of a 3D character, of a cartoon, or anything on top of the world and on top of the subject. And it'll it'll work just as you can see here. First of all, imagine how much fun that would be. Second of all, how much easier it's going to be to develop these, these cartoons and these uh, animations and these video games. We'll be having next-gen video games release a lot faster. If not a lot faster, they're going to be a lot better because it's going to save them so much money and time that they'll be able to produce, to give us more content to, to enjoy uh, for the same amount of investment that they make, be it time or money. This has really blown me away. I've also joined the waitlist here which I definitely recommend you do. The effects will be absolutely wonderful. And not just that, but also uh, for, for just editing videos. You'll be able to edit your videos so much easier and make such cool videos out of it or, or short movies of yourself, your family, your friends, whatever it is you want to do. Things that we've had to learn for years using, uh, you know, all the all the Adobe suite, all these different softwares like Blender, etc. Those are going to be so much easier now. Speaking of Blender, you can already use ChatGPT to code Blender for you. You could, you'll be able, if you use this app, which is free by the way, have ChatGPT code you certain assets and certain physics within the assets. As you can see here, they've coded one by one by one 50 cubes, at, you know, 20 meters above ground, and then they release them and you can see the physics in action. You'll be able to use this already today. You can already download this and try it. You can have ChatGPT code for you. So this also eliminates the need for coding knowledge in Blender, something that was stopping a lot of people from even attempting to use Blender. Now it'll be far less scary. The thing is, it does help to know coding, obviously, and you should definitely learn it if you have the time and the patience, but even without coding, you'll be able to set yourself up for a minimum and for basics for now. And it's probably going to advance to the point where you'll be able to completely write down a script, write down some words and have Blender or any other software completely create an animation for you. And then you can edit it with words and not even typed words. We're talking about spoken words. You'll take this microphone, you'll talk into it. You'll say, build me a world that's Pixar style where the main character is this and does that. And you can just, you can even have ChatGPT eventually write you the whole script too. So you wouldn't even have to give any input, <laughs> but you know, then it's really not your, not your own work, but uh, yeah, I mean, how, how cool would that be to just be able to, to tell the computer what you want and it creates it from scratch. I would also like to show you this, which in combination with the other software blows my mind. I don't know if you've seen this NVIDIA presentation, you'll be able to film your face with the phone for a few seconds and it'll put your face in 3D right there on top of the character's face into the video game. So obviously within less than a generation, we'll be able to film our faces and add them right there into a game and, and play the video game with ourselves. And we'll probably be able to train our voice too, right? With the, with the voice AI software. So you'll have your voice speaking and you'll have your, your likeness in the game. So it'll be exactly you in every video game that you play. You'll have your own character that's plug and play. You just plug it in every video game instead of doing character, obviously, you could play around with that, add yourself some horns and stuff if you're playing a fantasy game. But just by itself, it's going to be wonderful being inside all these games. And to those of you who are middle-aged and the aging, uh, I recommend scanning your face to video and video and then 4K 
and saving that file because you never know if it takes a few years you're going to want to have your younger self in the game i'm just kidding obviously but since software will probably be able to de-age you by that time the last thing i want to show you before i go is this amazing box i guess where you can have a hollow character a holographic character inside and that's a character that you either add or that you create it could be a video of yourself or of or someone it could be an animation it could be pretty much anything you can think of you can create the character you can create whatever you want as you see there's there's even ar capabilities and it will sit on your desk uh, with incredible motion just it'll it'll really it'll amaze anybody that sees it I absolutely love this. I think it's super cool. I think it's around $300, which I'm definitely considering buying. Um, the even cooler thing is that I've seen today on Twitter, and I'm going to leave the link to this in my description because I don't want to make the video this video too long. You can check it out yourself. But a girl actually created a bunny character that's a holographic character that talks back to her because she linked it to ChatGPT and she made him his own voice. And he can basically talk back to her. She asks him questions. And he answers, she can sing a song to him, and he tells her which song that is. It's just like having a buddy right there on your desk with who you can chat and make jokes with all day and ask questions. And it, you know, it taps into chat GPT and it gives you all the answers you want, spoken answers. So it's, it's super, super cool. It's one of the coolest gadgets I've seen. So if you ever want to give somebody who's technologically savvy a Christmas gift or a gift for their birthday, this is it. You cannot beat this. Absolutely wonderful. Makes you wonder whether we're going to have too much content at some point. So the next the next generation of softwares will have to be focused on filters, I imagine, where we can filter all the content that's going to be created. There's going to be so much amazing content, but it's going to be so spread out, so available, so abundant that we're going to be completely lost. Just like you would be lost today with the images that Mid Journey produces. You go into Mid Journey, you see these incredible, incredible images, this fantastic work, but you have paralysis in the end because you can't, you just cannot pick anymore. When you have so many options, it's hard to pick, so you give up. People tend to just give up when they're giving too many choices as they have the choice paralysis. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting seeing how this is all going to, to develop. Uh, in terms of filtering the information that you find interesting. But to be honest, I don't know if there are a good filters, even when it comes to filtering websites or the software Amazon uses to pick items that you could be interested in. I think those need a lot of work. I've had ideas of my own personally on, on some ways that, that they could make that better, but even those would take a lot of work. So I definitely think that that's going to be a big mountain to climb. How to specifically filter uh, things that are to our own pleasing or that would be interested in. Of course, we have to be wary of such filters as well, since when, when they're centralized, companies are tempted to show you images or articles that push a certain narrative or agenda. And I mean that in terms of advertisement or, or any kind of agenda for that matter. Maybe when there's an election, they can push something like that to affect your choices. But generally speaking, if we combine the, the decentralized world that is the blockchain world with the filter software, we could really come up with something very interesting down the line, which is why I think that it's very important to look at blockchain technology and AI with the same lens. They will definitely merge eventually. We do not want that power be it of AI or marketing or anything else that we just spoke about to be centralized in the hands of a few. We want it to be completely decentralized throughout the planet where nobody has control on that except for yourself. So you'll be able to exactly uh, pick and choose what you want to see and not somebody push content onto you. So it's very important to have all these new technologies being decentralized. And this is where blockchain comes in, right? This is where crypto, NFT, and that, those kinds of things come in. The NFT will represent your person, your ID, which will be in your own ownership. Based on that, you'll be able to craft your personality, your online personality and your online choices where you're going to receive content based on exactly what you're looking for and not based on what a company or a government or any kind of body would like to impose on you or influence you with. But uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful technologies. Cannot wait to put my hands on them. I'm now waiting for these two softwares. I'm going to already dive in the Blender one, and I'm waiting to get access to the other two. And I will keep you updated, guys. This is super cool. I'll catch you soon.